Hello everyone, Frederick here, Simple System Trading. Start with the risk disclosure and dive after that, dive right into it. Trading involves substantial risk of loss, it's not suitable for all investors. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in the light of your circumstances, knowledge and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment, only trade with risk capital. That is money if it lost would not affect your lifestyle or financial stability. Past performance is not indicative of future results. In our event sheet, the content of the website or the videos being construed as an express and implied promise guarantee or implied by, by or from me that you will profit or that losses can or will be limited in any manner whatsoever. I'm not a financial advisor. I do not give any trading recommendations to buy or sell financial products. Please read the full disclosure in terms of this on the website. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's go to the Let's go to the subject of the day, which is um, the signal study. How can we construct and create our own signal study? Our main friend here to do that is the color bar based on alert condition study. It's a built-in shared chart study, which works with simple formulas. And uh, let's take a look where that can be found in the, in the share a chart website let's go to the documentation table of contents and there's uh, quite a lot of information here but the studies and indicator and there's here color bar based on the recognition this will um, go through the uh, settings and the options of this uh, study I will not um, I will not go through them uh, here. You can do that on your by yourself. Um, there's a link here to formula examples, um, which is quite useful. So these are uh, examples of uh, construction of alert conditions, and this whole page here is about alerts and scanning. Quite useful information here as well, and there's examples and uh, you can get a lot out of this um, the color bar based on alert condition basically can be used to do many things i will use it to construct a buy and a sell signal that can be used for the other trader so that's my main goal to create a buy signal and a sell signal and I will use that color bar based on work condition study. Um, study calculation precedence is also uh, important. Um, if we look at uh, documentation of share a chart uh, that's also in uh, studies and uh, chart studies and all the way down there's a thing called study calculation precedence this is important to know as well if you use the color bar based on alert condition it has a it says it has a very low calculation precedence so it will be calculated after a lot of the other studies and that's good uh, the other trader also has a very low calculation precedence uh, that means that if you load the auto trader, you will have to move it uh, below with these buttons. You have to move it down to the uh, signal study that we are going to create. You can now go through this uh, documentation yourself as well. Um, and if it's um, important, I will highlight it in the video. Okay, let's uh, get to it. This is a chart. Let's load uh, some moving averages on it. Let's uh, create. Uh, let's create a fast one. Let's call it that uh, orange. Let's name it and. Uh, name the slow ma 
and color it something else. And here we have a faster MA and a slower MA. And we are interested in the crossover. There's a crossover here, there's a crossover there. There are probably many crossovers here as well. Um, so we want to indicate the crossover as our signal. So the crossover of the fast MA from below the slow MA will be a buy signal. To create that buy signal, we'll uh, need that color bar based on alert condition study. We're going to add it below the other studies. First thing we want to do is create a name. So like that long signal. And um, it has a, a subgraph called uh, color bar. We're not going to change it now. And there's an alert condition. Here we're going to add the alert condition. For the alert condition, we need uh, two things. We need the ID of the study in this case. And every I, every study has likely a subgraph. Not always, but in this case, it has a subgraph, which basically means the moving average value of every bar is represented in this subgraph. In this case, subgraph one. So what we need to remember is ID one. SG1 is the fast MA, and ID2, SG1, is the slow MA. So if the fast MA crosses from below, so is cross from below, we need to put the ID1, it's the fast MA, SG1, subgraph of fast MA, crosses from below the subgraph of the slow MA. Okay, this is the alert condition. If this alert condition is true, the color, the bar will be colored. And that's it. So this was the long signal. Let's see what happens. Well, here you see. that the uh, cross happened here and the color bar is colored purple. And here it happens a bunch of times as well. Uh, personally, I don't prefer this uh, as an indication. So I'm gonna set that color bar to uh, ignore and uh, we're going to use something else we're going to color background based on alert condition and we're going to name that the uh, long visual and uh, that needs uh, an alert um, that's going to be ID3. So this alert is simple. ID3, SG1, that's the color bar of the long signal, equals 1. If that's true, we will uh, color the background blue. That's it. Okay, so now we have a visual representation of that long signal. If you look at the uh, two values window here, you can see the values of all subgraphs, basically of all your studies and of the bars as well. If you move over the bars, you will uh, see those values. In this case, you can see that the uh, here the long signal will be one when we hover over that cross bar. So the cross happened here. The long signal is 1 and we have a visual 
all the rest it's zero here we have a one again and the rest is zero so that's um, the way to create a, a long signal now let's uh, have a look on the short signal because we want to have a minus one for the short signal minus one needs a little a little trick it's uh, almost the same so we're going to start uh, with that uh, long signal we have let's uh, duplicate it first you're gonna change the name to short signal we need a different alert condition in this case the um, slow ma that's id2 needs to cross from below the fast ma so we change those and the settings is uh, the place where we need to do a little trick first we do is uh, we set this use minus one or false we set that to yes <clears throat> so if the condition is false it will produce a minus one so this condition we have to make that false with an exclamation point put the whole statement in brackets and this condition the cross of the MAs for short side becomes a false with using that exclamation point and then the subgraph becomes a minus one and to create a visual of that let's uh, duplicate the long visual to a short visual we need to change this alert condition so let's see the short signal is id5 so this needs to be id5 equals minus one and let's make it a different color for the short signals so now you see the short signal condition pop up right there there's one here as well so now the cross is the other way around we get a short signal and we will see that here the short signal will be a minus one right there and a zero oh sorry a one everywhere else which is fine we only need the minus one so this is um, an example on creating a buy signal or a sell signal because when we would use the uh, auto trader and add it there is a uh, input here the signal study as g for the longs where would you select your long signal and your short signal that's why we need to construct the separate study for that so this would be the input for uh, the auto trader um, but I will uh, get into how to use the auto trader at a later stage so this is why we do it we create a your own signal study because you want to use it as an input to the auto trader and um, we use the color bar based on alert condition for that and I show an example on doing that with two separate MAs crossing over I will uh, take the opportunity to do the same thing for the uh, crossover uh, the MA crossover study which is set up a bit differently but uh, might be a good way to show you how this can be done with other studies as well so bear with me here I'm gonna look for the uh, moving average crossover study here and we are gonna set a uh, a faster may 
and uh, slow in May. <clears throat> And um, oh, let's set some colors as well. Here you see that we have um, multiple subgraphs. And uh, they represent something else. So this is another example. You will have likely have studies with uh, arrows and multiple subgraphs as well. So I'll use this to... Uh, point something out. You see the, uh, the MA drawn and you see the crossover is, uh, is handled, is seen here with, uh, with an arrow. Let's call it that uh, arrow a bit differently. It's not that obvious. Let's make them a little bit more fat across from the top as well you can see them better okay see those crosses happen <clears throat> but these are not yet signals you see the uh, the subgraphs the ma's and right on the cross here it's already calculated we have a value and that's the value where the arrow is we're going to use that and uh, to construct a alert condition Okay, so whenever the cross from the bottom happens, that's our long signal, there will be a value there. So let's start and construct our long signal. Long signal, alert condition. What alert condition? I need uh, ID1 and I need um, SG3 here. So the alert condition is ID1, SG3, not equals to zero. That's the alert condition. This thing is uh, not equal to. It's in the um, documentation. If this happens, we will call it a bar. We will call it a bar purple. You see that happen right here. You see it happen right there. Now let's do the same thing we did with uh, the background. So we want to set this color bar thing to ignore and uh, we need id2.sg1 equals to 1 And we want to have the background blue. There you go. <clears throat> so this is your long signal. Now you want to have a short signal as well. So we leave this to ignore. You're going to need to address this alert condition. So we're going to double check what was that subgraph so the arrow down is the cross from the top it's a short signal is sg4 the study is id1 so let's first make this our short signal and this is going to be sg4 sg4 is not equal to zero we have an arrow so this condition will be true and we will need to set because it's a short signal set this to yes and do our little trick for the alert condition to become a minus one 
This is our short signal. Um, we can check it out here. Short signal minus one. But we want a visual on that. So we're gonna call it a background. We duplicate that. Uh, this was the long visual, I forgot to name that one. This is going to be the short visual. Short visual, you want to have a different color, purple, pink. And this needs to be, double check, the short signal ID4. So we have ID4, short signal, equals minus 1. <clears throat> and purple. Sorry about that. ID4, SG1, equals minus 1. We have pink background and we named it short visual so this is another example of setting up a study creating signals and visuals on those and if we would now load the automated trading study we will need to make sure it moves at least below the signals. You see the calculation order here as well. But I cannot move it up here because calculation order will change, but then it won't receive the short signals. So we have to move it down. Visuals are fine there. And then the other trader will request the inputs here and you can just that's why you name them select them here the long signal and the short signal and that will just work fine okay Let's see if i missed anything i think we have it all we have um, creating your own signal study input for the auto trader using the color bar based on alert condition use simple formulas you can extend those formulas really easily um, step by step a different uh, case study in the future will uh, will highlight that you have to be aware of your calculation precedents when you load the uh, auto trader um, and i went through two uh, two examples one with two separate ma studies and one with the crossover study Hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, I'll be back with the other trader study in the next video. Thanks for watching.